Hello everybody! Well, this is the fourth video in my Oblivion Extreme Graphics modding tutorial. And if you remember, in the last few videos we installed all sorts of interesting um, mods that really enhance the visual quality of Oblivion. And um, that included the Oblivion Graphics Extender with God Rays. Uh, we installed liquid water to enhance the water. We installed really almost everything viewable when distant which adds um, uh, structures and forts and ruins and everything to the landscape uh, even into the distance so you can see everything. Um, now in this video we're going to start by installing the unofficial Oblivion patch and remember the links to all of these mods are always in the description of this video. Uh, we're also going to install immersive interiors which finally allows you to look outside the windows when you're inside buildings and we're then going to install two texture packs for the landscape and that dramatically improves the quality of the uh, of the landscape so we'll do all that in this video so first of all we're going to install the unofficial oblivion patch so you download it uh, it downloads uh, quite nicely into a you know just an executable so then you just install the executable like this here let's not get distracted by all that other stuff so you know you just go through this is a standard installation um, and it's nice and it's all in one uh, just leave this yeah let's see I think you can just yeah uh, leave it as nor as they are by default uh, this one is disable vampire aging blah 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 yeah let's just install it the way it defaulted and after a while it finishes and all you have to do is just finish uh, it's probably a good idea to view the readme you know uh, so do that later so the next mod we're going to install is one of the most popular texture packs called Carl's Texture Pack 3 and it's a very big download and when you look at the link that I gave you, uh, you can either go here to uh, the files and download um, all parts. I think there's a, yeah, there's a lot. Uh, or you can just go to the mirror that I gave you and it allows you to download the entire O mod, which is what you'll use in the Oblivion Mod Manager as one big file. So that's what I did. And the result is this. After you uh, uncompress it, um, you get this, the O mod. So then you simply um, take this, copy it. Whoops. And we have to copy it. And then you have to copy it into your um, Oblivion Mods folder. And let, give me a second to remember where this is. Oh yeah, Oblivion Mod Manager, right in your main Oblivion folder, because um, assuming you've already installed that from one of my earlier videos, and then it's in the Mods folder, and then you simply paste it right into there. And remember, again, it's uh, from your Oblivion main folder, then it's Oblivion Mod Manager, which is OBMM, and then the Mods folder, and that's where you copy it. And of course it takes a while to finish copying and um, uh, installing it, but once it is finished copying, then you go into your Oblivion Mod Manager and start it up. It will take a while to start up because you've added such a large, uh, large O mod, which is uh, 1.7 gigs, but then you click it. I said you click it, yeah, there we go. And then you activate it, and you might get this warning. It says it conflicts with an already active mod. I'm not sure which mod it is, but it's all right. And then we click yes anyway, and this will take a very long time to switch colors. But I'll show you how you can um, verify that uh, Carl's Texture Pack was fully installed in just a second. And don't be alarmed if it takes up to five minutes just to get this decompressing window. Uh, it took me about three minutes. And then, uh, so don't, you know, just give it time and be patient. Uh, then it starts to decompress the texture pack. And this takes another five minutes or so, uh, even on a higher end PC. So I just skipped through the decompression and it does hang for about three or four minutes on 99%. And now you'll know that it's activated because the mod will turn blue. And once it turns blue, that means that you've successfully installed it. So now that we've installed Carl's Texture Pack 3, we need to go back to really almost everything viewable when distant. And we need to download and install another mod um, specifically for Carl's Texture Pack 3. It's called RAE VWD 
QTP3 texture pack. Um, and this kind of patches uh, Carl's texture pack if we've used really almost everything viewable when distant. So download that, and then I'll show you how to install it. Okay, once you've downloaded it, and once you've um, unpacked it, you'll get this folder, which is really almost everything viewable when distant, QTP3. You open that up, and then you'll have a textures folder. Um, that's going to go into the Oblivion data folder. So here we are in the main Oblivion folder, see? Uh, Steam apps, common, oblivion, and now I'm going to enter my oblivion's data folder, and you'll get meshes, shaders, sound, textures, etc. Simply drag this textures folder into here, and it will overwrite anything it needs to. It'll prompt you to overwrite, and then you'll just have to keep saying yes and do this for all current items, and then eventually you'll get this, which, see, it's asking you to specifically rewrite 1,252 files, so go ahead and do that. Move and replace. Um, or if you're copying, it'll say copy and replace. And this shouldn't take too long, and once it does, then you'll have the Carl's Texture Pack 3 installed with really almost everything viewable when distant. And um, we'll take a look at that, what it looks like in game, in just a moment. Okay, and before we enter the game we're to check out our mods, uh, we're going to download and install two more mods. The first one is Cities Alive at Night. Uh, just look for the link. Um, it just, from an exterior point of view, it makes cities look a little brighter um, instead of completely dark. And um, once you've downloaded that, um, you get this folder, which is Cities Alive at Night. All you have to do is just take that ESP file and drag it or copy it into your Oblivion data folder. Remember, I'm in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Oblivion, Data. And you'll see the other ESP files, and that's, where, that's how you know you're in the right folder. And then I just right-click and then, or right-drag, and then I copy it there. Um, now there's one more mod that we're going to install. Okay, so this next mod will happen in two parts. Uh, one is called Illumination Within, and the next one is called Illumination Within Revived Optimized. And what this does, this adds the lighting inside the windows at night if you're inside a city, and they gradually come on from one building to another, and it's kind of a nice effect. But um, there were a lot of optimization problems with the first one, so that's why we're downloading both. So after we've downloaded them, you know, we get and unpack them, you get two folders, so start with Illumination Within. Um, grab, well, read, the f read me first, and then grab the meshes, textures, and the Illumination Within. Don't worry about this other ESP file. That's if you don't want shutters on your windows. They're like extra models around the windows that are like uh, window shutters. So um, just take those three and then right drag into your Oblivion data folder, remember, and then copy here and then you just have to overwrite conflicts and then that should do it. Uh, then you have to go and add the Illumination Within Revived Optimized and you ch have to choose um, which <laughs> which version you want. I'm gonna choose Super Mega. You can find out in the readme.txt which version you really want and see it's really just a an ESP file so I just right drag it and then copy it in there. And of course uh, once you're done with that, just like before, you have to go into uh, the Oblivion Mod Manager and then click Illumination Within and Illumination Within are Windows Light Shutters. Yeah, that's that's the two. And it's kind of a good idea to kind of keep them together. So you can, dr well, there we go. Illumination Within and then IWR. Yeah, that's how I do it. I just try to keep them together. And finally, the last mod that we'll install in this video is Immersive Interiors. And look for the link in the description of the video. This is the one that allows you to see outside the windows when you're in a building. And you can see all the detail outside, including trees and even the weather. Assuming you installed All Natural, which is the weather mod, then you'll be able to see not only the detail outside, but also the weather that's happening. Um, so, you know, we download this, and once we've downloaded it, we get and unpack it, we get Immersive Interiors over here. Um, you definitely want to read this whole README file because it tells you all about it. Um, I'm going to um, 
click this, click this, the, both the, you know, the ESP files and the meshes and textures, and then I'm going to find, you know, back to my Oblivion data folder, which is Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Oblivion, Data, you know, on my computer, and I'm just going to right drag it and copy everything there. Uh, you could also use Rybash to install this. You could also uh, turn it into an OMOD. You know, I'm just doing these things manually because uh, I've, I know this installation and it works. Okay, so there we go. And now, let's take a look at my load order. Okay, so let's take a look at my load order now. Uh, by the way, I've installed... Um, and activated both the immersive interiors and the immersive interiors lights add-on. You have to check those because we just installed it. Okay, so first there's the Oblivion ESM, then there's all natural base ESM, then Shivering Isles and Knights of the Nine, which are the two um, expansion packs, then the unofficial Oblivion patch, Cities Alive at Night, all three of the all natural ESP files, but not this one. The all natural way down at the bottom here, it even says do not activate. And then there's the OBGE liquid water. Here's the two immersive interiors. Then all the really almost everything viewable when distant mods. Then illumination within down at the bottom. And keep the bash patch activated. That's the rye bash patch. Okay, now let's go in and see what everything looks like. Okay, and here we are inside the game. So the textures are looking great. Um, everything, even the door textures, they look phenomenal. Um, the illumination within is working. You see the lights Hello, slowly dude. turning on in these buildings. Hey! And so we've got um, all of that working. Now we're going to go inside the cathedral over here and make sure that we can see outside the windows from inside the, the cathedral. And here we are inside the cathedral. And if you look out the windows, you can now see uh, the castles, the buildings, the trees. You can even see the trees uh, swaying. Um, you can see any weather that might be happening outside. So if it were raining, you'd actually see the rain. So we've got everything working. Now we have two final mods to add, and we'll do that in part five of my Oblivion modding tutorial. So look for that soon, and then we'll finally be done modding, and we can check out Oblivion in all of its glory. We'll see you soon.